G'day, how you going? It is Down on the Game here. Welcome back for Dust. Now we're seeing Tail where icicles are constantly dropping. Right. I feel like there's something down here, so let's go ahead. Ooh. Probably not. Oh god, no. What have I done? I've killed. Ah. Uh, why did I do this? I chose poorly. Ooh. There's the explodey thing that I was looking for. You come with me. Don't hit the spikes. Come on. Here we go. Over here. This way. There we go. Apparently that was all for a secret. Hopefully it's worth it. Oh, there's no blueprints. Apparently we got a whole bunch of birthday cake. But it's not my birthday. Okay. I get the feeling that... Oh, shit. I get the feeling that there's going to be something secret hidden somewhere around here. Like, if I choose one side to go up, it'll probably be like on the other. Okay. What do we got up above us? Okay, well, it just said the shops have been restocked, so I want to quickly see if I can buy... Okay, well, we got the snowsuit already, that's right. Uh, well, it was a pendant, wasn't it, that we are looking for? Yeah. So, I can buy some more stuff here. Unfortunately, though, we don't have whatever that other thing is, so I can't really do much with that. Hello. Okay, so this is a dead end. Ooh, you got parried, son. Wait, this this feels like the area that I was at earlier. Let me check the map. Okay, apparently it is not. It just looks the same. God, I keep hitting. Ah! Stop hitting the friggin' wall. Jeez. There's gotta be a bomb somewhere. I'm gonna assume it's down here. Is there a bomb? Where's this taking me? Well, there's the bomb. Uh, no! Piece of shit. Uh. Now it's gone, I can't catch it. Oh wait, yes I can. Aha! I've saved it. Of course, now I have to make sure this bomb doesn't hit any spikes. Ugh. Please don't hit any spikes. I, I'm not going, I'm definitely not going to be bothered trying to do it again. Oh. Oh. Fuck. Uh, I'm just going to, I'm going to sit in this corner and cry. God damn it. Oh. I cannot be bothered going back and trying again. That's too annoying. <laughs> These guys are hiding outside the barrier. I can't hit them. Alright, should be good to go. Ooh, level up. Nice. Let's increase the attack. I think what I'll do is I'll have... I'll focus on the attack, and then I'll upgrade other things when I can no longer upgrade the attack. Alright, so we've got Snowstorm slowing us down. A bunch of wolves. And I missed. Oh, hopefully they're having trouble as well. I feel like checking what's down here first. Okay, well, that was a waste of time. <laughs> Alright, well, back up we go. I think I'm gonna take out some of these enemies. Oh god. Wind! Why? So horrible. Ok, 
Okay. This wind sucks. Or actually, it blows, I should say. Oh, bad joke. So if you can hit these wolves when they're in the air, you pretty much, like, disable them. Ugh, yay, no wind. Oh, God. Ah, oh, what? Oh, no. More wind. Man, that guy, he's a... He's a toughie. Jeez, man, that wind is... Oh. Where am I going? Uh... Okay, I guess we're going up. Wind! Stop blowing! Okay. Going down. Uh, did I? I think I went too far down then. Okay, well, let's see what's down here. I see a little... Hmm. Oh, that just takes us back there. Right, let's see what's over to the right. If there's anything there. Oh, yep, there we are. Treasure chest. Got a blueprint. Mountain gear. Ah, yes, very nice. Oh, my God. <laughs> what is that material? Why, why don't I have it? Well, we've got everything except for that, unfortunately. Right, where's the platform? There we are, right on cue. Where's this taking me? Alright, so this gives you up here. Right, okay, I see. Platform, there we are. Okay. So I want to get on... Wait, if I stay on this platform, will it take me where I need to go, or what? I don't know. I'll just stay on this one for now. Okay, here we go. Man, that wind. Something else. Hey, shopkeeps, what's happening? Ah, hello again, my... What we got to buy? I mean, what do we have to catalog? Nothing. God damn it. Alright, well, do we have anything to sell? Yes, we do. Get rid of the warm sweater. And get rid of the, uh... Wicked? The Wicked. Looks like seaweed to me. Okay. Apparently it's called the Wicked. Alright. Your transact... Watch your... Pardon me. Right. Uh, up we go. Getting close to our destination, which probably means boss fight. There, there was a road here. I remember it. Before that day. There was a road here once, but not anymore. Look, up ahead! A village! All the way up here? Do you think it's that Moonblood camp Kane was talking about? No, Wait. it's something else. Kane. It's... En enough talking. Let's get up there. So this guy, he's not... This guy isn't Kane. Kane was... that other person? Halt! What? No. Impossible! Cassius! What did you call Right, me? so this guy's Who name is Cassius, you? so what he's not Cain. Who the hell's Cain? You, you were dead! No. No, this is not possible. I don't know what demon you are, but you will not step any closer! Kill this! Thing! Oh god, there's multiple ones. Oh, they're dodging like crazy. Yeah. 
god, these guys are these guys are tough. Have some fire. Oh wow, that was good timing there. Got him right on the way down. Ow. <laughs> Cheese it. Cheese it. Oh, I can't believe I could just do that. Why destroy such a peaceful place? We didn't want any of this. Gus, what are you talking about? And who is Cassius? That's not... It's not my name. I remember it. I know it when I heard it. Oh, so... Wait. I thought he's... Hmm. Well, I guess... I guess it will be clear to us uh, at some point. I'm sure the story will unravel and we'll just uh, enjoy it. Looks like this place has been destroyed for quite some time. A year, actually. Huh? How do you know that? This was I destroyed it. I was here one year ago. According to Fuse, according to Ginger, I helped murder everyone in this village. Oh, dust. But I don't remember any of it. I remember this place, but it feels like it's been more than a year. Ara, what does it mean? It only means that things are not as they seem. Explore the village further, Dust. Let us see what secrets it hides. Mm hmm Exploring the village. I see nothing. Oh, wait, there's a house. This house. Do you remember something, Dust? This is impossible. Apparently it's impossible, whatever it is. It's... A house. We have no lights. Dust? How? Do you see now? But how, Ara? I don't understand. Yes, Neither do I. I Please explain. <laughs> I... Is this meant to be his house? I get the feeling this is where he lived. Yeah, it's feeling that way. Ginger. Interesting. She was sleeping right here on the night I came okay. to say goodbye. I was. But I hesitated. Wow, this is weird. I didn't want to wake Is this the first time they've had a cutscene like this? Me. I do not remember seeing any of these type of cutscenes before. Dust, what are you saying? She couldn't know that I was about to go avenge our parents. You mean, you're... But how? What's going on here? I... I remember oh, now. Oh, so it is his place. How? That's right. How can I have helped destroy this village? She's his sister. Village? But be a victim of that same act. That's impossible. Only impossible for a creature with a single soul. Ginger. Those eyes. I know those eyes. So, Mithrarin, you finally see the truth. Who the hell is Mithrarin? I am Elder Grey Eyes, leader of the Moonblood people. Well, what's left of them, that is. <laughs> What did yeah, you mean sorry about killing all those Moonblood guys. Yeah. What do you um... know about me? His eyes, Elder. They're Jin's eyes. They do look remarkably similar to your brother's, yes. That is because his soul lives on within dust. What? However, to okay. suit our needs, we required two souls. Soul so, is a noble dust thing, is basically a vessel for power, souls. <laughs> dust would have been struck down just as easily as your brother was on that fated day. No. So we combined your brother's soul with that of his murderer, the royal assassin known as Cassius. They perished at the same time, forever entwined. Never before had I heard of such an event. Okay. Wow, there's a lot of cutscenes happening in this episode. You murderer! My parents did nothing wrong! You have been deceived, little one. 
Your parents turned against their king in acts of pure treason. What resistance there was, was led by your family alone. You destroyed my village, murdered my friends and family. You will not survive this day! I take no joy in slaughtering one as young as you, child. But you have forced my hand. Raw! Ah, I thought it was a yelling competition. A grave injustice was done that day. Cassius murdered a defenseless djinn, but his pride and arrogance proved to be his undoing. But how? How can this this thing be my brother? It's Whoa, not man! Whoa! I couldn't even remember you called him a met. thing? Oh. You are Jin, yes. Jeez. But you are also Cassius. Two souls, forever at odds. One of innocence. It's like it's like Russian Clank uh, quest for booty. Together you form the one uh, dark water. Mithrarin, he who is born of the dust. I never Good old, uh, Jin just disappeared one night. I had always hoped it? he would turn up alive. Dark water and slag. And that he would come back. But Scourge could you really be him? Ginger. I don't know. I... I don't know. Now, Dust, I imagine you have many questions. Please, do not hesitate to ask them. Uh, sure, let's just go through all of them, shall Who, I? or I guess, what am I? You are what my people call Sen Mithrarin, he who is born of the dust, created from the essence of the life thread itself. You see... My people have been on the verge of extinction for a great many years. General Gaius planned to eradicate us once and for all. And while our warriors are proud and strong, what chance would we have against such a powerful foe? To defeat General Gaius and save our people, we would need a warrior capable of standing against an entire army. This warrior would also need to be pure of heart. Incorruptible. So that's why you picked Cassius and Jin. Just like you said, opposites. Exactly. Cassius was one of the greatest warriors this world has ever seen. And Jin's purity of heart would help guide our warrior to save our kind. From their fallen souls, you were born. Born to save us. To save this world. Interesting. So basically, Dust is not really even a person. <laughs> it's like you're you're two de you're two dead guys. Uh, so you know you're dead technically. Why did I only remember now? I didn't even recognize Ginger when I met her. You may possess the souls of two separate beings, but your body and mind are your own. You were created to save this world, so we felt giving you memories of either soul would simply distract you from the task at hand. I had no idea who I was. Does that mean technically he's got like three souls? Uh, you say that, but in all cases you did exactly what we intended you to do. You saved complete strangers outside of Aurora Village. You stopped our wayward brother Fuse from destroying all that we sought to save. You saved Mudpot and brought the waters of life back into this land. You purged a demonic rage from this land and even helped two old souls find peace once more. You may not have It feels the like purpose, we're getting near the end of this game. It. And now I'm here. Especially because now we yes. know who we are. Now it's like are here, who was Fuse? And we can finish this what? fight once. Why would you ask that question? All. You don't remember Fuse? How could you not remember Fuse? Fuse is the crazy dude that gave us the firepower, which is probably the most useful power that I could have gotten. <laughs> uh, yeah, I can't even... screw. How does the Blade of Ara fit into all this? What is it? There's no need to ask who Fuse is, because we know who Fuse five is. Blades of Elysium. Ancient weapons forged when our kind were made. One of the five blades. The Interesting. So that means light are we gonna come? Place. Are we gonna come across the other wait, four? Wait, wait. What the heck is the way of the flameless light? 
The path we moon bloods continue to He must be talking about the torch, you know, uh, battery power. That allows us to make use of a power both it's a flameless light, and great. otherwise known magic as a light bulb. Without magic. I am so confused. Surely, I would be probably confused, but I was not studied the ancient doctrines. You must know, in the event that the sword is summoned by its rightful owner, you are obligated to follow. I may have skipped over that chapter? You haven't answered my question. The blades of Elysium were created to guide their sword bearers' dust. I was summoned to your side to ensure a balance. Why is Ara so quiet? God damn it, Ara. I mean, I know you're a sword, but speak up. Jeez. It is good to hear you Everybody else speaks more. louder than he does. It has been a long time, Master. Wait, God damn it, Ara. Speak How louder. How possibly know each other? My clan's been keeping the sword hidden for over 200 years. Master Grey Eyes has lived for a very long time, Fidget. Longer than any of you. So you were sent to keep an eye on me? To help you reach your true potential. Nothing more. Alright, well, let's move on. I have no more questions. What now? You must join us in the Moonblood Camp to the north in the Everdawn Basin. That isn't anywhere near the Everdawn Volcanoes, is it? They are one and the same, yes. Well, Interesting. So we're going from it. snow to fire. Volcanoes. Indeed. What a better place to hide than in the most volatile land in all the kingdom. Oh, I know. How about a peaceful meadow? Or a quiet forest? Or some place that doesn't explode every ten minutes? Dust, your friend seems awfully tense. No, I'm fine. Come on, let's go to the Blowy Oak Mountains. Really, I'm serious. Fidget, you need to have more faith in me. I'll have faith in you when you have faith in yourself. How about it, huh? Who are you, really? Whoa, isn't that interesting? Oh, she's uh, she's laying down the questions, laying down the hard ones. I think the obvious thing would be I am dust. Yeah, that's what I reckon. I am... I... Uh... You see? You still haven't figured it out yet! The lizard guy tells you right to your face, and you still don't know! Fidget, please calm down. You mustn't test your friend like uh, this. I thought that would have been just... the right answer. Being like, I am dust, <laughs> you know, because technically you you're not either of the other ones. This world, I need to know Maybe there was no right answer. And why? I understand, Fidget. You're right. I can't ask you to follow me. But I can. Fidget, you have stood by Dust's side for this entire journey. You have watched him save this world. How can you continue to doubt? I just don't get it. It doesn't matter who he thinks he is. He's Dust. That's who he is. That's who I know. But Fidget, please, that's what I said. I, I chose that as the answer. You, uh, Screw you, game. You Screw you. That? I said I can't do this without you. I'm sorry, I just... Nobody's ever said that to me before. Oh, we be getting all feeling up in here? Are you ready Somebody need to bring out the tissues? I am. Then we will meet you in the Everdawn Basin. Goodbye, Dust. It is very obvious, though, now that we are getting to the end of the game. Before we go to the volcanoes, though, uh, we should quickly... <laughs> Uh, do some of those side missions. Mainly the snow one, because I already have all the stuff. Was this checkpoint here before? I don't remember it being there. Alright, cutscene with dude with like... General Guys? Quite the beard. What news, Commander? I did not want to believe it, but Cassius is working with the Moonbloods. He has turned against us. That will be for me to decide. Our paths will cross at the Moonblood camp. Of that I am certain. I will speak with That's him right, this guy. Is that I keep wise? forgetting. This guy is the I'm bloody voice of um command. of Maze from Fable. One. We possess superior technology, and we have the element of surprise. But why welcome this rogue element? He has already slain your own soldiers. What more proof do you need that he is a traitor to our cause? 
Cassius is hardly a rogue element, Commander. The Moonbloods have corrupted his mind, forced him to commit these acts against us. Once I can speak with him, once he remembers who he really is, I'm certain he will return to us. But... <clears throat> yes, sir. As you wish. I get the feeling that guy is sort of jealous. Cassius, he's like, my own friend. He's like, oh, so you don't need him. You got me. I can do what I can to save your broken mind. I promise. So you have Everdon Basin, but before we go there, we want to go check out. Uh, where was the place? Uh, Mud Mud Pot. Uh, where the hell's Mud Pot? It's in the caverns, isn't it? I was kind of hoping I could just easily fast travel there. Okay. Caverns. Uh, where's Mud Pot? <laughs> I feel like this is probably the quickest location to Mud Pot, so let's go here. Get in my way, weak fry. I got no time for these weak, low level enemies. Welcome to Mud Pot, everybody. Where we're looking for that kid. What's his name? Okay, I've gone too far down. I think it's this way. It's not you. Uh. Oh, there he is. Wait, isn't this the person? Ah. I know how much it means to you, Bopo. Well, I don't have much to offer. Besides from this funny rock, it don't seem to do anything down here in Mud Pot, but it looks pretty neat. Here, it's all yours. Oh, what is it? Thanks, Bopo. What is it? It's... It's... Uh... We had our moment together, me and Pa. Taking a walk through the snow. Okay, that was unexpected. Watching all those flakes fall from the sky. It went to another cutscene thing. But I'll always have this memory now, thanks to you. I've just got to be strong now, for Mama. Thanks so much, Dust, for everything. Okay. So, what was the stone that I got? Rainbow Resonance Stone? What the hell is this? Open all gem gates at the s of the same color. So, is, is there going to be like some sort of special rainbow gate or something? I have not come across such a thing, but, uh, okay. Ah, yes, we got the, uh, Sheep. Wait. I don't remember coming across. Wait, did I? Am I somewhere else now? I think I. I think we, like, teleported me upwards. Wasn't I? Yeah. I, I don't remember walking past sheep to get here. Yeah, I was, like, down here. And then I ended up up there somehow. Okay, so he's gone now, so yeah. Right, well that's going to be it for this episode. Uh, let me just quickly check the uh, quest that we have left. Ah, right. That will be what we do next episode. We're going to take a look at the uh, hidden cove, which I'm pretty sure we should be able to access now. Because I, I think we've gotten all the different abilities that you can get. We've got the wall climbing, we've got the double jump, we can slide, uh, I think that's all of the abilities, isn't it? Anyway, we're going to save it here, and next episode we'll head over to the Hidden Cove and get that done, and then after that we'll be heading on to what probably is going to be the final stage of the game. So let's just do a save. There we go. Thanks for watching, guys. Let me know what you thought. 
like, dislike, comment, subscribe, feedback is always appreciated. Uh, you can also check me out Facebook, Twitter, and Twitch. Links in the description. And you can email me at thedownundergamer at hotmail.com. But until next time, guys, I'll see you then.